Hi, I'm Chris from Snowpeak, and I'm going to help you troubleshoot why your Hazuki light may not be working. The most common problem that we see is low batteries in the Hazuki light, which causes it to shut itself off. Now on the newer models, we have a low battery indicator, which lights up red when the batteries are low. If you know batteries are not your problem, then there's something wrong inside your Hazuki. To do that, we'll disassemble Hazuki and check the inside. Now you want to spin it counterclockwise and separate the two halves so you can get to the internals. First, you'll want to check the battery terminals to make sure that they're still holding the batteries in tightly. To do this, turn the top half upside down and shake. If your batteries stay in, they're still tight. Secondly, you'll want to check these metal terminals connecting the two halves of the light. Sometimes dust or grime gets onto these and inhibits electricity from passing through. So just wipe them off with your finger and check for dust and dirt. After you've ensured that they're clean, now we want to work on putting the light back together. To assemble your Hazuki, we're going to start with the lower orange portion of the light and we're going to attach it to the silicon globe. Ensure that your globe is oriented the right way with the holes towards the top. Now take the lower portion Place it up through the bottom of the globe and press down with your palm so that the lip sits inside the rim. Then take the top half and ensure that the electrical connectors are parallel. Then you fold it over and turn counterclockwise slowly until it drops down. Then turn clockwise until it's tight and there you have it.